welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are in Snowdonia National Park and we're going to be shooting over the mighty Trofan. So for those of you who've been following the channel for the last couple of weeks, you've been seeing I've been hitting a lot of locations and trying to hit a lot of my hit list of locations to shoot. This one is by far, has been on top of my list for quite a while. Trofan is in Snowdonia, as I said earlier, which is on the northeast side of the park right up top of North Wales. It is absolutely unreal here. There's a picture around every corner when you drive through and it's just so picturesque and photographic. It's, it's a dream. So, as I say, waiting for the Milky Way and darkness to appear and then we're going to be shooting the mighty Trofan. I've got found a little waterfall here on a babbling brook coming down the hill. So, I'm hoping that that's going to give some lovely long exposures for the water to set the photograph off. I've also got some lovely rocks located around the brook here, so I'm thinking I might do a little bit of light painting with those just to pick those out a little bit, again to enhance the photo. If we got time, I'm hoping to go down to another location in the park. It's about an hour south from where I am now, but that all accords on weather up in these hills that's no microclimate and as you know or most of you know um, the weather comes in and that's the end of shooting because of mist fog or even rain now it's not forecast tonight it is forecast a very clear night i checked a few apps and weather reports and they're all saying the same thing it's going to be a glorious new moon night the best nights for astrophotography <laughs> So I've just come down from the opposite side of Trafan and that was a tough shoot. I was there for maybe four and a half hours and hampered by clouds. The last six minutes I was lucky enough to have a half decent break just to finish off a panel and this is a little tip for you guys if you have got the patience and you're doing a panel start from the ground and work up so then when you get the break in the cloud you can quickly take your shots. That was a tough one. So Next plan is to get back on the road and then head an hour down into the park to another location. I'll have a scout out at that. Hopefully the clouds will be disappeared down there, but it's not guaranteed. So let's go and have a look and see what we can do down there. Well, I've just come back from the lakes and that was extraordinary. That was one hell of an occasion. But, um, stay to me. <laughs> But yeah, I just come on the way home and I just pull up to this dam and there's um, some morning mist just blitzing around the corner here. And we've got a gorgeous sunrise over this way. So I get home um, for about 8 a.m. And then I'll have a look at the SD card, get some sleep. And um, try and update you with what I'm doing tomorrow um, and then also I'll try and put in a post on one of my socials of um, what actually I did do and how I did it. The last campsite I went to, the lake, um, I couldn't do a vlog there because there's people camping all over so it'd be kind of rude to have the light on me to do a vlog and maybe wake them up but coming home and stopping and seeing this absolutely stunning anyways that's me folks um until next time stay well clear skies and take care bye